Hello and welcome to the new Vila version 4.0 demo. Over the past year, VDI has become an integral part of a data center as organizations are able to manage as well as secure their company's data. However, VDI adds a lot of complexities that Vila version 4.0 addresses and helps resolve. VDI management, as you already know, could get overly complex. One of VDI's promises is to simplify desktop administration. However, tasks such as resource allocation, compliance, and managing desktop images can all contribute to the greater complexity. The first feature that Vila brings in version 4.0 is the VDI-centric dashboard. The VDI-centric dashboard has the ability to visualize VDIs based on their pods, protocols, as well as their sites. Within the Horizon VDI dashboard, you can also choose the time period that you would like to see the data for. You could choose a 1 hour time frame, 6 hours, 12 hours, and 24 hours. In this case, let's go ahead and take a look at 24 hours worth of data. In the 24 hour time frame, you can quickly see all the different information such as the application traffic distribution, the VDI sessions status, the display protocols that are being used, as well as the logon times. The application traffic distribution tells us what is the main application and the data that was collected during that particular time frame. The VDI desktops used the HTTPS protocol and had about 4 gigs of traffic within this particular pod. Similarly, majority of the traffic occurred during this particular time frame. Similarly, you can also see what the status of the VDI desktops were. You can quickly see if they were being actively used, idle, or disconnected during this particular time frame. Here, you can also see that the biggest protocol that was being used was the PC over IP protocol. The logon times tells the VDI administrator how long it takes for the VDI user to log in to their respective desktops. In this particular case, it took 6 seconds for a VDI user to log in to their desktop. Apart from seeing the pod summary, Vila can also automatically identify the different display protocols that the VDI desktops use in order to communicate to the thin clients. In most cases, the Horizon Blast protocol or the PC over IP protocol are used. By clicking onto the pods PC over IP, you can quickly see all the information with regards to it. In this scenario, you can see that there are some packet losses between the VDI desktop to the clients. This packet loss can further be seen between the clients to the VDI desktops, and you can quickly see that there are packet losses in these two. As you scroll down, you can quickly see the average and peak packet losses between the clients to the VDI desktop, as well as get the round trip latency between your thin client to the VDI desktop itself. In this scenario, you can quickly see that the round trip time is 0 milliseconds, indicating that there is good performance between your thin clients to your virtual desktops. Apart from viewing the data for individual pods, Vila can also identify different sites within the environment and quickly combine the different pods to provide you with the entire site summary. By clicking on site summary, you can get the same data for the entire site, such as the application traffic distribution, the session status, the display protocols, and the logon times. You can also see the PC over IP data or the BLAST data for each of them by clicking on the site's PC over IP bar. By clicking on the Horizon VDI page, you can quickly view and see the different information based on your different pools. You can click on this view here to quickly identify the different pools and select them within your environment. The timeline on top provides us with the status of the different connections. You can quickly see whether the connections are active, idle, or disconnected during a specific time frame. 
By looking at the summary window, you can quickly identify the information with regards to a specific pool. Here, you can see the application traffic distribution, the session status, the logon times, the packet loss, as well as the round trip latencies. Under the sessions tab, you can quickly identify the different user sessions. Here, you can see all these different users making connections to these VDI desktops. These are the thin clients that they access it from, and these are the IP addresses of those thin clients. You can see the exact pool of farm they belong to, the display protocols that are being used, the time it takes in order to log on, and the start time of their sessions. You can also see other infrastructure metrics such as the network health, CPU health, memory, and storage for those individual VDI users. You can further drill down into each of these individual user sessions. Let's take an example. Here, you can simply click on the plus sign by the session of your choice. By clicking this, you can quickly identify and see all the different metrics that Vila measures, such as the logon durations and the infrastructure metrics. The logon duration is a very critical metric in order to identify the load time of VDI desktops. By looking at all these different stats, you can quickly identify what causes the desktops to load at a slow speed. In this particular case, you can see that the logon duration of this desktop is 15 seconds. This can be broken down into all these different metrics such as the broker duration, the agent duration, and the client logon durations. You can quickly see from here that the majority of time taken is because of the client logon duration. By clicking on the session tab, you can quickly identify the session latency, the bandwidth, as well as the packet loss. By hovering over, you can quickly see those values. Similarly, you can click on the conversation view to quickly identify the network conversations within the environment and the communications taking place between the VDI desktop to external clients. Here, you can quickly see that the VDI desktop communicates with external websites to YouTube, Office 365, Microsoft, as well as other services. You can also quickly see that the thin client in this particular case is this Windows 10 desktop here. Moreover, if you'd like to see the infrastructure metrics, you can simply click on the network, CPU, memory and storage tabs. The network tab provides you with a list of all the network metrics such as the response times, packet drops, retransmissions, and fatal retries. By clicking on CPU, we can measure the CPU metrics such as the CPU ready time, the CPU utilization. For memory, the swap wait time as well as the memory active utilization is what's taken into account. For storage, the latencies as well as the IOPS are measured. This was a quick introduction to Vila 4.0 that includes the VDI dashboard as well as the VDI logon times. Thank you for watching the video and please feel free to contact us if you have any questions. Thank you.